And they put in the last four principal parts for Bambino, our team Cinzano. And you've got to be a good cyclist, look Italian or be Italian. And if you have any acting background, share that with us. So anyway, uh, I call them up and they, in two weeks, I got to do an audition. Well, having done a lot of announcing and sponsors uh, happy with my work and whining and dining me and I'm eating too much. They're whining and dining me, having more beers than I should. And all of a sudden, I got to lose 20 pounds. I got to look good. I got to win this audition. So for two weeks, no brewskis, zero. I got on the bike and started training. And then to get dark, I need to work on my tan to be Italian. And then I laid at Foster Beach, where it was good for my tan. And being a bachelor, the scenery was very nice at the beach, better for my eyes than carrots. Okay? So <laughs> it was really great. Two weeks later, I fly in. Gary Rybar picks me up, my fraternity brother, takes me to the Best Western on 3rd Street. There's like over 100 guys that look Italian there. And I'm looking at some guys here, and they got bikes that are not real. They're 10 speeds, Doc. You know that uh, broad reference, a 10 speed. And I saw uh, hand brakes on a straight bar, but I get called in to the room. They're calling in one at a time. And as I walk in, I got a white shirt, Doc, that's wide open. I'm brown now, man. I am bronze. I'm looking good. Uh, and Peter Yates goes, he looks, my, we have quite the Italian here, haven't we? And I go, uh, sir, are you, uh, are you Mr. Yates? Eddie, I'm, I'm Peter. Call me Peter. Yes. And this is Mike Grillo, my assistant director. No, Peter, I go, I'm not Italian. I was born in Belgium. Really? Wow. Do you, do you speak other languages? I go, I speak Flemish, Dutch. And I said, I'm pretty good in German. Could you speak Italian? I go, with the right direction, I would deliver whatever you'd want to hear. I have no doubts, but with the right coaching, you know. So uh, anyway, Doc, I, I look pretty Italian, you know. I, I was right now, Up until, uh, you know, you were going and I was thinking, man, he's got the white shirt open. He's got the tan. He's got a couple chest hairs popping out. This is like Marlon Brando putting the cotton in his cheeks. <laughs> Everything except for the Italian horn. Not at all, Eddie. <laughs> Oh, oh. If I had to do it over, if I had to do it over with your coaching, that horn would have been there, dude. 